Grammy nominations for 2013's show are out, and here's the full rundown. You're watching Clever Music with your music news. The 2013 Grammy nominations were announced last night via a live Grammy nominations concert broadcast on CBS. The hour-long show was co-hosted by Taylor Swift and pal LL Cool J, who guided us through the night of shocking nominations and cool performances. In their opening monologue, the co-hosts traded roles, with Taylor hilariously trying her hand at beatboxing, while LL Cool J sang her song, Mean. Then the nominations kicked off. Country heartthrob Hunter Hayes sang the first nominations of the night for Best Pop Vocal Album, which included Stronger from Kelly Clarkson, Ceremonials from Florence and the Machine, Some Nights by Fun, Maroon 5's Overexposed, and Pink's The Truth About Love. Following, Maroon 5 took the stage to perform a medley of old and new hits including Daylight, Moves Like Jagger, and more. They also took the stage again later after the band Perry sang a Johnny Cash song, followed by Fun performing with Janelle Monet. Neo and Luke Bryan also serenaded the crowd during the nomination show. One of our favorite categories, Best New Artist, was announced at the concert by Little Big Town and reveals the nominees are... Fun, Alabama Shakes, Frank Ocean, Hunter Hayes, and The Lumineers. A big shock in this category, you guys. For us, Carly Rae Jepsen, One Direction, and Ed Sheeran were not nominated. Then, Taylor Swift herself announced the nominees for Album of the Year, which include El Camino by The Black Keys, Some Nights by Fun, Babel by Mumford & Sons, Channel Orange by Frank Ocean, and Blunderbuss by Jack White. Lots of folk, rock, and alternative being represented, it seems. So who got the most nominations of the night? Garnering six nominations each were Kanye West, Jay-Z, Frank Ocean, Mumford & Sons, and Band Fun. This is pretty surprising to us as the top 2013 nominees don't include any pop artists or women. So who got snubbed this year? The Grammys are receiving a ton of backlash for not nominating Justin Bieber for a single award. We're surprised that Nicki Minaj and Christina Aguilera didn't receive any noms either. But not as surprising based on how the VMAs went this year, Lady Gaga did not receive any Grammy nominations either. Our girl Taylor Swift's new album, Red, was not qualified to be considered as the cutoff date was late September and her album came out October 22nd. Check the description of this video for a full list of the 2013 Grammy nominees. Keep in mind there are 81 categories. Tell us in the comments who you think the biggest snub was. Be sure to subscribe to Clever Music for all your Grammy coverage. I'm Misty Kingma. Thanks for watching, you guys.